you guys the day has come the night the night has come Tis the we night. are homeowners <laughs> I was like, should I even vlog? It's pitch black. We were supposed to get the keys a little bit earlier and I'll go into more detail on the podcast, okay? But um, it's ending up being like completely nighttime now that we have the keys, but we still wanted to come see it this for the first time, like empty. Lady's first time ever seeing it. She's like, never, see, she doesn't know, you know, she doesn't get it. She doesn't know we're moving. So we're, we're showing Lady the house. We're going in and seeing it without all the furniture. We've never seen it empty. So we just wanted to sneak a peek and we'll come back tomorrow when it's daytime. But we're gonna eat Chick-fil-A. Nice see it at nighttime. We picked up Chick-fil-A and we're gonna eat this on the ground, probably. Oh shoot, I wonder if they had, oh yeah, they put in some utensils and um, uh, napkins. Nice. Hey, let's go in. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna give like a house tour right now. It needs to be tomorrow during the daylight. Look where I am. I'm putting you on the windowsill. Okay, it is the next day. We're in the natural light. It's so nice to see it in the daytime. And honestly, it's so nice seeing it empty because like I said, we've only ever seen it with the previous owners, like all their furniture and stuff. They also, every time we were here seeing it, they had like the blinds drawn. So we kind of would like put them up and try and get a feel for it. But it's nice putting all the blinds up, seeing it empty and like kind of catching catching a vision for it. But that's a huge thing, is like when other people's furniture and things are in the space, it looks so different than when it's not, obviously. And so all of their furniture also was very dark, which is kind of the opposite of our vibe, I guess. I feel like we want it to be very like airy and light and have a lot of natural light as well. I'm currently in the guest room. I'm gonna give you guys like a little tour of it because my family is coming in a few days, or my mom and my brother at least, and we're gonna have Keaton over here too, and we're gonna start demoing it this weekend. We're trying to do as much as possible of the demo that's not like structural or anything on our own, so I'll be taking you guys through that process, but let me show you what it looks like in the daytime. I know I have the least steady hand, but I'm gonna try and show you <laughs> um, and be as steady as I can. So this is the main living room. I'm like, do I tell you guys our plans now or wait? I'll, I'll kind of give you like a basis of what we're gonna do, okay? So that right there, like if you go in through here, that's a room, which I guess I can just show you right now. And it has this tile and then it has a door to the backyard. So we want to open up this wall. We don't want it to completely demolish it because we still want that to be a room but we want to do like a very wide opening slash doorway right here to first of all, let the light from the backyard kind of like come into this space as well. I don't know exactly what we're doing as far as the doorway. Like, I don't know if we'll do an arch, if we'll just do it like French door type of thing. If we will have it be sliding doors that we can open, but you know, close if we want to be in there and have privacy or whatever. I really don't know exactly, but we definitely want to open that up a little bit. Here's the kitchen and Right here, we wanna do like a little built-in banquette, a little kitchen nook situation with a round table right here. I'm waiting to see what our architect thinks, but I wanna do a window right here as well. I wanna add a window, potentially. Um, but the thing is, we are gonna keep a door here and we want the door to be mostly glass. I just wanna get as much lighting in here as possible, honestly. So 
We're also gonna be making that window bigger. It's gonna like take up way more of that. And we're completely changing the structure of this kitchen. So this wall, bye bye, that's leaving. Um, Cause this is a really, like this isn't a super functional setup. This is like, just makes the whole space feel very small and kind of random. So we're taking that away. We are also, let me go back in this room. I'm back in the living room, but we're also completely moving. We're doing a lot to this room actually. We're completely moving the entryway over here and we're gonna open up this space as well. And we're gonna wall off like the sides, but the middle will be open to the kitchen. I know that's hard to visualize. Honestly, it's kind of hard for me to even visualize it, but I think it will look good. So this is gonna be our guest room. It's just a cute little room. I love the window and it has a closet in there. Nothing special. It's a, actually a pretty decent size like walk-in closet. So that's nice. I don't know exactly if we're like changing much there, but these two rooms, this bathroom and this guest room are one of the only things we're not changing at all like structurally obviously there'll be new finishes new paint flooring all that but like the structure of it will be the same we're not ripping down walls or anything this is the bathroom should i put this light on you know small little bathroom we're gonna renovate this obviously again i'll tell you kind of more of the plans and the inspo i have for each room in a separate video but this is like the walkway into the kitchen you know that i just showed you alternate angle and we are basically closing this entire thing off and relocating this huge water heater closet to make all of this a part of the kitchen. So there's not gonna be a hallway here. This will all be walled off and this will be the entrance to get into like the guest room and stuff. But we feel like this is just complete wasted space. Like there's really no purpose for this. And this is probably gonna become our pantry. So from this angle, we're gonna have all this extra space that's gonna become a part of the kitchen. And then this part is gonna be open. This is all gonna be gone. Okay, this bright yellow room is going to become the master bedroom. I wanted to quickly pop on here as I've been editing this video. In my brain, I knew that the, the new word is like primary bedroom or main bedroom. As I was filming, I was just saying master bedroom because that is what I've grown up saying and just what I have been used to saying. So anyway, I just wanted to make a note that I was saying that in this video. I realized after when I was watching it back that I should have been saying a different word. So that's all, love you guys. We're not gonna change, well, that's a lie. We're gonna change this room, I guess, because this is the closet. It's um, just kind of a small little closet and right next to this room is a bathroom. I'll show you that. And basically on the other side of this is that closet and the room. And we're going to combine this all and actually take from this room over here as well to create a master suite. So this is gonna become the room the closet is going bye bye. We're just knocking everything, kind of combining everything together. And it's gonna become a bathroom attached to the master plus a closet, like a walk-in closet. Cause we're taking from this further room over here. This is the room that we're taking from basically. Again, we're taking this closet away. Essentially, we're gonna extend this whole room and that's all gonna become bathroom closet. Does that make sense? I want to do an entire separate video of kind of the the vision and the vibe we have for the house like where we're pulling inspiration from all that stuff so that's going to be a separate thing altogether. but we are so lucky that we have my mom because you guys know jilly is design queen she renovated our entire and like made the plans for our entire cabin the 1975 and it is so stunning so she really has like a natural gift for just design and knowing like how, like, oh, you should take out that wall, you should add a window here. She's really good at that. And she's also really good at like sourcing materials or knowing what looks good together. I, th I feel like a part that's really hard of renovating is knowing, okay, if I do this floor, are these cabinets gonna look good with this countertop? You know what I mean? Like all of it has to flow. And I feel like she's just really, has a really good eye for that. So. That's really helpful. This house is actually really similar in size to the house that we currently live in, that we're renting. I think it's kind of the perfect size for us. It does have an extra bedroom, 
than the house we currently live in and the backyard is much bigger and it's a little more private. So let me show you the backyard too, by the way. I wanna, ugh, I'm just so obsessed with French doors. I kinda wanna do French doors here. This sliding glass door is nice. So I think we might just keep it for now. I don't know, I might change my mind. Depending on if this, this is that opening I was talking about, if we end up doing French doors there, I don't know if I would wanna double up on it. That's actually a good size closet too. But anyway, this is the backyard, which, oh, it's locked. At the moment is complete concrete. It is literally a concrete jungle out here. We have this whole area. Guys, I'm holding my breath trying to be steady and I know it's not even steady. Okay, and then this whole side yard is like the same size as what I was just showing you. So it's actually very spacious over here too. We have so many fun plans for the backyard. Like I want to scream. I am so, okay, why is this manual focus? I am so excited about the backyard. So is Leif. Like we're just, <gasps> we have so much inspo that we've saved. I don't, I don't want to give it away yet because the backyard's kind of the last thing that we're going to focus on in the entire house just because we want to get the house done as soon as possible and move into it as soon as possible and we can obviously live here while the backyard is being renovated but it will be much harder to live here when they're literally taking down walls and restructuring like a lot of stuff and ripping out bathrooms you know what i mean so I feel like the, the backyard is the last thing that will be done but we're almost even the most excited about it because we have so many fun plans we've only really ever had a like good sized backyard when we lived in la but again, we were renting, so we had no control over what the backyard, it was just grass, which was super pretty, but we wanna do some fun stuff in this backyard and have it be like a great place for entertaining and stuff. Slay life, I don't know. I don't know if he's FaceTiming or what he's doing, but also this is like a huge cinder block wall in front of our house. That's one of the first things I want out of here because it blocks, it's literally right in front of these windows. Well, we're also repositioning the windows because we're moving the entryway, but regardless, it blocks so much light. It's just this huge wall that blocks all the sunlight. We're definitely taking that down. And I feel like, I think maybe the boys will do that this weekend, just like take a sledgehammer to it or whatever. Okay, lastly, let me show you the garage because the garage is also our, it's gonna be our laundry room. Um, we're gonna rip out everything here. Obviously just kind of redo everything, but um, we're trying to figure out if we want to like almost attach the laundry room to the house somehow But I do think that's gonna be a pretty big undertaking. I'm kind of thinking maybe we just do Cute tile and just make it you know better finishing right here um, We have our own washer and dryer also that we're gonna be putting in here They also left a bike for us big sleigh as far as the laundry room being like outside I mean it's inside because it's in a garage, but I don't think I care that much just because we live in Southern California where the weather is pretty nice. Like if I lived somewhere freezing or like deathly hot, I could see being like, oh, that might be annoying to do laundry, but it's honestly like a few steps from our house. And I don't know, I just don't think it'll be a huge deal. I feel like it'll be really expensive and time consuming to try and like connect it to the house and like add square footage, I, I don't know. So I feel like we can make this cute out here, but stay tuned. I could change my mind. We are meeting with our architect. Well, we're meeting with our contractor in a few days. We've already met with him a few times, but we're kind of like gonna get started soon. So I'll talk to him and then we have an architect meeting a few days later. They're gonna come over and tell us what they think. They already came over and we mentioned that, that we might wanna do that. So maybe they would be like, have a drawn up plan and be like, oh yeah, we could do this. I have no idea. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you the most like important part. Oh, it's hot. Me say, I'm like, we live in the best place actually sculpting. So one thing that I've always been obsessed with in just any home I go into, like something that stands out so much to me is when a ceiling is pitched and there's like exposed beams or whatever. I just feel like it adds so much to the space. Like it adds height, it adds dimension and it feels cozy and like charming. And I always was, not that that was a non-negotiable because I don't know, not every house is gonna have that. 
but all the houses that I would walk in that I would be obsessed with, that was like one of the common denominators that I just loved so much. When we came and toured this house, you know, it's not a mid-century gem. Like there's not a lot of innate character and charm, I wouldn't say. Like specifically this kitchen was like renovated probably, I don't know when. This house was built in the 50s. This was probably done, I'm making this up, I don't remember when it was um, done, but like this was probably done in the early 2000s. Uh, this kitchen renovation and stuff. So there are elements that are like old and a little bit charming about the house But a lot of elements are Kind of updated kind of not when we toured this with the contractor. I was like, can we? Pitch the ceiling and will it be so expensive or is it doable? And also I was the the roof in and of itself is not super Pitched like it's not super vaulted just in general the house is like kind of flat So I was like would it even be worth it? But our contractor was telling me like, okay, we could probably get this amount of a pitch, like this amount of height. I feel like it will do so much to the space and open everything up and like breathe life into it if we can pitch it and get a bit of a of height. I think it will literally change the entire house and kind of add the character and charm that I'm looking for. So it's kind of best case scenario because I feel like, well, granted, it's going to cost money to do that, but I feel like it's... But I feel like it's cool to be able to buy something and like almost you're the one who gets to add the charm to it. You know what I mean? Because a lot of places you have a lot of charm to work with, but they're often very expensive like that. And they are super in high demand. So I feel like it'll be kind of cool to see this place transform from like a normal, just like cute house to more of like a bungalow type of feeling. And again, I'll go into more of like the vision and the feeling we want the house to have because I do want to switch it up. I want it to feel like us, but I do want it to be fresh. Every time we move, I feel like the house kind of takes on a form of its own and it has its own like energy and, and um, feeling to it. And so I feel like we have a pretty good idea of what we want this one to feel like. And I'm so excited about like every aspect of it. So we're, we're probably gonna pitch the ceiling. Our contractor said that it should be no problem. Our architect is gonna like draw up the plans for it and everything. When we take down this wall or like open this wall up and open that other wall, I feel like it will look so much more bright and open. I am just freaking out. I can't believe that it's real. We're just like, every time we come here, well, we've only come here twice, but we're like, wait, we're sitting in the driveway and we're like, this is our house? Like we, what? We own this? Like we did this? I just can't believe it's actually real. You guys know we have literally been wanting to do this forever, obviously, but specifically in California in an area we like, like this has just always been our goal. So it feels very surreal and just like so exciting that it's finally happening. Kind of going every which way. So it's like, how would they? So is it, is it just to the middle? Or is it just gonna look crazy? Or is it just, have to mold it with whatever it's doing. I don't know. We're trying to understand the roof situation. This is the attic and we're wanting to open up the ceiling. Okay, we're back home. Or should I say, our rental home. I'm trying to think of like some questions you guys would have about this process and I, I feel, anyways, I'm gonna try and like answer questions I would assume that you would have. One of them being, when are we gonna move into the house? Which I guess I was kind of explaining, but we're gonna live here still for, I anticipate a few months at least, while the house is being renovated. It's really tricky and I always, I've heard that renovations take so much longer than you ever think they will, number one, which is kind of scaring me to be honest. Also, you have to get permits for a lot of stuff. When you're changing things like structurally, when you're ripping down walls and like, doing the ceiling how we want to do it and all that stuff you have to get permits and that can take like months to even get permits so our contractor we're meeting with him in a few days because he's gonna basically tell us like okay i can get started on a b and c without permits like the certain things we're not changing structurally structurally like i was mentioning um like the guest room the guest bathroom we're just like doing new finishes and like ripping that stuff out but we're not making any changes to the actual structure of them we can still get going but the reality is we might not get permits for these changes we want to make to really get like ripping down walls for like a few months so it's hard because we obviously i mean in a perfect world we would just move right in but i feel like because we do want to take some of the parts down to the studs and rip out the entire bathrooms and stuff and like restructure things it 
would not be ideal to be living in it. It will be very dusty. It will be super loud all the time, especially with us both working from home. I could see it being kind of just really hard. So depending on how long it takes, that being said, like I don't see us living here for like a year or something. Like I feel like we don't want to live here for much longer. We'd, we'd prefer to like get into the space but not if it's completely ripped apart, you know what I mean? The space is small, like the house is not that big. So I'm like, what really, how long could it take? I don't know. I don't wanna go into it negative, but I also am preparing for it to take a little while. I figure that's the, sorry if the AC is loud, by the way, always gotta throw that out there. Um, I figure that's the main thing that you guys will be like wondering about. I feel like there's something else. I was gonna say also the way so this the market here the real estate market is very competitive We went to this house actually that we were considering we're like, oh that would this would be a cool fixer upper It was in much more disrepair like than this place like it was not livable by the time we went and saw it And we're like, oh, maybe we'd put an offer in the agent was like Oh, there's 10 offers. It had not been on the market very long. He's like, there's 10 offers. Almost all of them are just cash, like full on cash offers. And we were like, okay, well, why would we even bother then? We started working with a real estate agent. And then once we found this house, they wanted it to go specifically to like a young family. That kind of was like best case scenario for us. Cause we're like, oh, we feel like we're always going to get beat out by these investors who have so much money. We'll just pay upfront cash and offer way more. When we went and saw the house, we had a really good feeling about it. Like, wait, I think we could actually compete here. It kind of just felt like everything was aligning in the moment that we went to go look at it. And we were like, this seems just like good vibes all around. As our first home ever, I just feel like it's gonna be exactly what we want. It just feels like it's the perfect size. It's in an area we like, we're super excited about it. We just like can't believe that it finally happened and we weren't expecting it to happen honestly this soon with just how the market has been. So this was very, very exciting to get it and go through the whole process. We've already, like when I was talking about the permits and stuff, We've already had meetings with architects and everything to like start on the whole process. So we've been working on this process for a while at this point. And I did not know how much paperwork there are there is to buy a house. It's insane. Leif has honestly been doing most of it, but he has been doing so much just paperwork and meetings with people and talking on the phone and calling this and calling that and getting the gas switched over and the power. like. There's been so many little elements to this. So I'm, I'm excited to just finally be talking about it because I'm excited to now bring you guys through the process. Can't wait to share more plans with you guys. I think you're gonna love it. And I think you're gonna love hopefully watching it all transform and come together. I feel like it's gonna be such, I just, I love, oh, you guys are resting on my vase. Um, I personally love this type of content and I love watching something transform into something really beautiful it's like so uh what's the word i'm looking for what is the word not rewarding it's like fun for your eyes satisfying it's so satisfying to watch something become something really special i just can't wait i feel like there's also so many choices and decisions to make between all the furnishings i was just looking at like outlet covers like these really pretty outlet covers that i was like ooh, those are cool like light switch things um, anyway, so I'll show you guys all those details and I'm just freaking out, but hopefully like, I don't know. No, I'm not going to put a time on it. I was about to be like, hopefully bye, but I don't want to do that to myself or to you guys. I just hope that soon I will be vlogging in my new house, like in my new kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's so much more to come. We're getting started with demo very soon. So that'll probably be coming up. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.